Alright, down in the vault. The badass family. Here we go. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Step over to the table, take a seat. This You'll way, need your seat before uh, we can take you further. Thanks. Right over there. What now? Just follow hey there. All right, you. Those vault tech suits right suck as far as armor, by the way. Just so you know. And there, there's not much to remember here. This oh, part of the game. I mean, it's other than if you care about the plot. But... How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Uh, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, uh, you get in here and you're like, uh, what are these things? You want me to... Uh, it looks cold. What? What? Really? This is... Not... Okay, I guess this is what we're doing. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head. To uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel kind of like I'm getting in a gas chamber. This is not up. Uh, uh yep, yeah, definitely would remind me of a gas chamber. I don't think I'd be getting in there. I'll take my chances outside. I'll just, I'll just take the radiation, or I don't know. Maybe you guys can do me on the like. I'll like manage the nitrogen tanks. Don't freeze me! Don't freeze me! It's actually really suspenseful. Uh, I love this game. Even the beginning cutscenes here. Even though it kind of, kind of becomes irrelevant after you go out. I always thought there might be something. But... I mean, this is kind of messed. I mean, you gotta watch them take your kid. And there's nothing you can do. You're frozen, but just awake enough. Oh. And then they shoot your wife. Like. It's just rough. It's just, just rough. What? Back up. <laughs> what kind of what what does that mean? <coughs> and then you wake up. And this is the first chance you get to really do anything in the game. And there are decisions you can make right off the bat. You can always come back to this place, but there are decisions you can make right off the bat, which improve your chances and improve uh, your start in the game. This stuff tells you nothing, so don't bother it. Why would Vault do this? Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! I can't be lying to them. You can get your wife's. Hello? Anyone? I'll find and you get the kid. extra wedding ring. And I'll get Sean back. I promise.
you're going to want to grab all the tools you can. Those tools come in handy. Um, there's nothing in any of these chambers, I don't think. I always get confused in these vaults, and I'm just walking around a little bit more than I should. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything back there, actually. And so you head this way, and you'll see your first cockroach. But you're not going to go fight that like that. And you're going to hop on the security terminal because this security terminal does actually uh, have nothing. Okay, never mind. I thought it was the one that had the hollow tape. Hmm. Uh, I grab all the scrap and everything because I'm a scrap hound and this is survival mode. Every little bit of scrap, every little thing, it all comes in handy. Baton. All right. Yep, that's vats. You're gonna want to use your vats to uh, avoid getting hit as much as possible. Giant roaches are the least of your concern. Ah, this. Oops, I didn't mean to sit down. But this terminal over here in the corner is actually the terminal that uh, I was looking for. So. Let's stand up real quick. But yes, this terminal back here in the back, this is an important thing to get. I get all the beer bottles. Beer bottles are crucial. Hop on this recreation terminal and our eject hollow tape, which is the game The Red Menace, which is really nice. Nothing else in there is important. I don't think any of the information there is much good. Uh, cigarette cartons are good. You'll see I have an item sorting mod on that tells you what it is otherwise you may not see on your screen the same way it says scrap scrap tool whatever and uh i use that to uh let's go ahead oh it's purified water nice it comes out purified so let's go ahead and fill all these bottles up we're gonna go so then i have something to uh to heal with just in case which I don't think uh, in the beginning of the game like this. But to get purified water is a good thing. Especially in survival mode. You need it to drink. Uh, just to stay alive. And uh, But it is important to remember to save some bottles for the dirty water. Because you will actually need radioactive water as well. In order to do some things. Now can I sleep? Nope. You can't sleep right now. I was going to see if I could go ahead and sleep and save the game here just to be safe I'm a safe person uh, I'm gonna go sneak mode now now you don't want to go down there on the floor because those zapper things will actually get you mm -hmm. there you go and you can see how far away I entered vats on that rad road from like there's a pretty good, pretty good distance on hitting those motherfuckers. I don't, I do not want to go into the, uh, into the area. I wish you would come back here. Oh, there we go. Boom. And they're pretty easy to kill. It's just a little bloop tap on the head knocks them out. It's pretty easy to avoid getting hit all together throughout this, uh, first thing. Oh, 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 I say that and then I mess up three different ways and uh, uh, inject stuff in me and everything okay well everyone makes mistakes I can drink water from the water fountain to regain my hydration because I'm in here where it's not really that big of a deal and a stem pack and there's some more stem packs to make up uh, I'll have to change my key sets my key sets are a little bit off that's why I, that's why I did that my key sets are still set from overwatch like I mentioned in the first part of the series I got a little tilted on overwatch so um, decided to switch to playing this for a little while and the overseers turn I can't remember if there's anything important in here uh, yeah it's open the evacuation tunnel 
Uh, there we go. Now it's open. And also the cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic food. This is a thing that uh, you may be interested later on in your playthrough. Uh, glasses, those are key, and this is where the cryogen, cryo, whatever, cryolo thing is, and it is a gun that freezes people, so that's pretty cool. And you're going to want to check all the back rooms, you're just grabbing everything, cigarettes, all that stuff, ammo, I mean, survival mode, you would be surprised that stuff comes in handy, like, actually stem packing myself there a minute ago made me feel really kind of like, uh... I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> really, I just did that on, uh, on a video, on the first video, because that's a, that's a new mistake, but it was a missed key press, so, and, uh, you're gonna see here, we've got them all on the wall, my bats actually isn't high enough to do much against them at these ranges, I would be risking pretty high miss chance, so I'm gonna go ahead and boom, take it off the wall there, boom, oh, yeah, I missed that, yep. Oh, that is one bonus to uh, uh, playing a lot of first-person shooters. Let's see, let's and let's try that. Yeah. Wow, that was a little glitchy, was it not? And then over here, we're gonna have another one coming out. It should finish it off, no problem. Yeah, even if I missed one or two of those, I would have cleaned up. Oh. There's another one. Where you at, boy? There we go. Taken care of. Like I said, uh, it's not too hard to avoid taking damage. I took a little bit earlier. What can I say? Even the best. Not. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best, but even skilled Fallout players, because I will say I'm a skilled Fallout player, make mistakes, take damage here and there. Um, especially on survival mode. I mean... The thing I, I hated about this game was that it was too easy. And when they came out with survival mode, man, it made such a difference. Uh, I, I like to tap Q a lot. Like, right there, I didn't get the vats because I knew he was going to be there. But normally when I enter a room like that, I would be tapping Q. This is what I was looking for when I was tapping Q. Oh, I should have gone for this the first time. Oh, almost took the damage from it. Managed to avoid it. I think that's the last cockroach in here, if I remember correctly. And, uh, you take his pit boy. The famous pit boy. I mean, it's a, it's a big part of, uh, Fallout lore right there. The pit boy. Ah, uh, and I always saw those lame ones you could put your cell phone in. Now, hooking your cell phone up and running it as a little pit boy app. They have an app that comes with the game. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I do that sometimes. I'm not right now. But, uh... And then this allows you to scroll through your inventory and everything normally. It's just like your, uh, just a cool little meta in-game menu system. And uh, there is a way to zoom in on this thing. I know there is. I just can't remember what the, I can't remember what the button is for it right now. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. You can see here. I got my options of a melee baton. I'm going to go ahead and favorite those out. Oh, melee baton set to three. We're going to set melee baton to one. And uh, we're going to cue the pistol on two. And, uh, okay. Um, I'll make sure I got everything else here first. I think that's pretty much clear. Um... Yep, yep, because that's the uh, back door to the tunnel. And then here's the main door you came in. Okay, I think that's clear. I don't think there's much else to do down here, so... Go ahead and pop my... Uh... Boo -doo -doo. And open up the vault. vault Which will allow us outside for the first time. We're escaping Vault 111, boys and gals. Hmm. God, so cinematic. Ah. Uh. Roll up 
open that vault door. Whoop! All right. Well, there we go. Here, it will give me a chance to review my character, and I can change the stats if I wanted to. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with the stats I have for this one, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. This is a point to make a save. Save your game here. You can, uh, well, I can't save my game here because, but if you're playing on a lower difficulty, save your game here. Uh, otherwise, I believe it automatically does also make uh, a save game for you here, actually. So, uh, that's kind of nice. But uh, it didn't used to, and you'd always want to save right here. I'm not sure if that's still the case. If you're not on survival, I would suggest making the save right here so you don't have to go through that entrance area again. And if you nailed the entrance area perfect, then you won't have to worry about it. Anyways, that's uh, all for this one. I don't think I'm going to be changing anything about my appearance or attributes, so it's going to be finished, exit the vault. And uh, hit that like and subscribe.